elements. This one's also really cool and useful. So uh, up until now, and uh, all the demos that I've shown you are playing a single piece of media. Composite elements, like I alluded to in that initial diagram of media elements, are multiple media elements in a single media element. That's what a composite element is. There are two types of uh, these composite elements. One is called serial, one is called parallel. So there's a serial element and a parallel element. Both inherit from composite element, so you're never going to actually say new composite element. You'd say new serial element or new parallel element. So what the parallel element is, perhaps as it sounds, to play multiple media elements at the same time. So you use a parallel element to run it concurrently, to run media elements concurrently, and you run a serial element to run media elements consecutively. OSMF does not currently have powers built in, capabilities built in for playlist support, on the assumption that everyone still right now builds their own playlists. Uh, but it does have a lot of playlist-like functionality contained within the serial element. So a serial element, you can define n pieces of media to play one after another, after another, after another. Okay, so it's like emulating a playlist, uh, but not technically a playlist in the, the true definition of the word. So you'll actually find that the word playlist is used somewhat misleadingly in the OSMF documentation. So what I just told you is the accurate representation of the feature set. OSMF doesn't technically support playlists, but it does support a lot of playlist-like functionality through the serial element. So uh, going back to the basic structure of an OSMF player with a composite element for playback, right? we just take a composite element, tell the media player to play that instead of just a regular video element or media element. And with the media container, we would assign a layout metadata object for each element in the composite element, right? So what do I mean by that? What am I trying to highlight here? I'm trying to say that the relationship between the composite element and the player is the same as a regular media element in the player. But when we get over to the media container, we now need to start addressing each media element individually to handle its layout. Okay? So to create two media elements, and my demos are really stupid. I realized I should have used photos, not videos, because no one ever watches two videos at the same time, I guess, unless they work at 24 headquarters. But media element, media element one equals media factory dot create media element new URL resource, right? Point it to a URL, media element two, right? So this is exactly the way I was creating media elements before when I showed you the media factory, but now I'm doing two of them at once. Now I'm gonna create two layout metadatas and uh, attach one each to each of the media elements I've created. I create now a new serial element. Uh, and then I, I add uh, the media elements to those serial elements. And then I set the media property on the media player to serial element. Uh, and so to see that in action, we have the serial element. So that's serial. As soon as one finishes, the next one plays. I associated different layouts with them, so it moved.